Hi friends, I'm doing a little unpacking video today. Um, I've got yesterday a very very nice package from Pigbird. Um, I've only opened one side uh, to take uh, his note out. I've already eaten it and it's very nice. Thank you very much Pigbird. And now let's uh, take a look inside. Um, I wanted uh, to wait a little bit and I had time to make a nice unpacking video. So as I already can feel, the box is full. <laughs> so let's take the first out. And it has a metal, metal plate on the side. All very nice packed. Oh, it's a star log, never seen this. Shackle doesn't move at all. Very nice. Seems to be a technical lock in some way. Yeah, very nice. Looks like a 30 mm perhaps. Very cool. I place it here. So let's take a look. There's more inside. Ooh. That's a, that's a Yale with a Kite mark, I think it's called. So I can see it. Very nice, a six pin. Um, I like these round cylinders uh, more than I do like uh, the Euro locks. Oh, it yeah, also says PB Foxy 02. Uh, zero two. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, already unpacked this. <laughs> well, it was a little uh, filler. <laughs> oh, already. This is a very small one. Oh, very cute. And he was 65.25. I have a 65, but it's much bigger. Very cool to see the small one. It's actually a four pin lock. Very cool. I have some of these uh, small locks, but uh, nothing like an Abus. Uh, only Chinese ones. Very cool. Very happy about this little one. Yeah. Oh. I, I think I know what this is. I'm not sure. No, I don't know. It's a Basta lock, a Euro cylinder. You can see the kiwi. It has a nice uh, yeah, plate attached and a very nice uh, lock color. It's, uh, it looks really golden. Made and brass. It's a brass key. Devonport, I guess. Never seen such a key. Oh, ah! <laughs> I haven't noticed uh, this one has no bitting at all. No, this is, that is a surprise. It says PB Foxy 01. I actually have to try. No. So it seems I'm not really sure. I have to speak with him. It almost looks as if he. Yeah, wants me to <laughs> to make a key <laughs> from this lock. I never done this, but wow, that's that's really cool. Yeah, and I guess uh, I've got the brass key because it's uh, from softer metal than a steel key. But I really have to take a deep look inside how this is done. <laughs> never did this. Very cool. That's a really challenge, challenging for me. Big thanks, uh, Big Matt, for this. Um, we are not finished yet. Here's another lock. All very nice packed. It's again a round cylinder union. Also never had a union lock. Here's the key. Let's see here. 
Park ist England. Pretty cool Bitting. <lacht> See if it works. Oh, works very smooth. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, the lock I was expecting. That's uh, Yukov 45 and PB wants us actually back when I've picked it. Yeah, of course I will do it. Um, very cool. Let's see, oh, that was it. I'm very happy with it. No? Especially the bounce in Yale. Hide mark and for small Avis, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> I'm not sure uh, if I should uh, try to pick it on camera after the fail yesterday. <laughs> mm. Hey friends, I now think I have found the tools <laughs> which will open a lock. This is a very, very thin pick, and I will actually go um, top of the kiwi. There's no other chance. As the kiwi is so small, but I want this uh, 6525 to open <laughs> at this uh, unboxing video. So let's uh, go. It's not an easy one. As the pin is so thin and there it's open. Uh, you see, <laughs> the same thing as yesterday, <laughs> not open on the first try, but I really, also, this kiwi is so small, you can't barely get anything into, yeah. and I rarely uh, use, this is one of my uh, first 3D picks I made, um, it's very thin, I normally don't use it, it's way too flexy. But happy I got the 6525 open. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you.